Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm filming for a couple of reasons. So I got, I went to Ulta and I got this Stila glitter and I really wanted to try it out and do a look with it. And then also I've been seeing a lot of people do like New Year's resolutions. So I thought it would be really cool to just like, as I'm doing my makeup, recap my year and tell you some goals that I have for this year. So let's get started. Basically, as I was blending out my foundation and my concealer, I was, you know, telling you guys all about my life story, and, um, I realized I wasn't recording sound, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'll just do a brief synopsis of what I was talking about. So, I'm going to start by giving you guys, like, a timeline of the past year. So, um, this time last year, I was preparing for my first clinical. Um, I was a sophomore, so it was my first year the fall semester was my first semester as a nursing student but then spring semester which is what I was about to start this time last year was the um, first semester that I actually had a clinical so I was super excited for that um, and I ended up I had a really great clinical group I had a really great uh, clinical instructor and I felt like I learned so much and I finally got like um, used to patient care and like going into a patient's room because that was like the thing that I was like there's no way I can like go into a patient's room and like talk to them how am I supposed to do that so during that clinical I felt like I really learned a lot and it was really helpful and then going into the summer so the nursing school that I'm a part of um, after your first year of nursing school you can apply for a care partner position which is basically like a CNA nursing assistant kind of thing and you can do that after your first year um, so you can do that after your first year, and so I applied to one place is where I really wanted to work. It's with moms and babies, and I ended up getting that position. So over the summer, I did orientation, and I uh, started that job, and that has been really awesome. I love my job so much, and it's also a really good learning experience. I've kind of learned that, like, pediatrics and women's care and, like, mother-infant is what I want to go into as a nurse. Um, which is kind of what I was hoping to get from that position. Over the summer, I was, I was preparing for junior year because uh, if you are a nursing student or you know someone who is a nursing student or someone who was a nurse, there is like a lot of talk about junior year and how difficult junior year is. And so I was really preparing for the worst. And then, um, so this past semester, I took adults and psych. So I had two clinicals and two lectures, and then I had pathophysiology and pharmacology. So it was a lot, but the first semester, I um, didn't really understand why everyone say, said that it was, like, so difficult. And then, like, month two hit, and I realized that it wasn't so much that the content was difficult, but, I mean, the content is difficult, but it's th things that, like, you actually need to know as a nurse and things that you'll actually use in the future, so I didn't really mind that part of it. Um, the part that was hard for me was, like, the exhaustion. It was, like, so much and I really had to get used to waking up at five o'clock to get to the hospital for clinical twice a week. And then on top of that, I was working one or two days a week. And then I had lecture and exams. And so it wasn't that the content was hard. It was just a lot all at once. And, but here I am, I made it out alive. And so now I am about to go into my second semester um, of junior year and I'm gonna be doing my women's and peds rotation which I'm super super excited about you know of course I'm talking about how like exhausting it was but then I was like oh let me just start a YouTube channel because that I need one extra thing on my plate so here I am for this year I really want to work on this YouTube channel but realistically like nursing school comes first so I need to decide 
how many days a week I'm going to upload during the semester and like what days I'm going to film because right now I only have I have the weekends off and then I have um, one day during the week off but I'll also be working some so um, I haven't decided it. I think I want to aim for two videos a week but I know realistically it's probably only going to be one and some weeks might be zero I don't know but my focus is definitely school, and so I uh, ordered a bullet journal. I don't know, I'm, I'm sure a lot of you know what it is, but basically it's like a journal except instead of lines it has dots, and so I'm going to try to organize my life in that. I have like a regular planner for work and school, and so I want that one to be focused on just goals. I am going to limit one of the things that I've already thought about I'm going to put in the journal. I'm going to limit... Uh, how many times during the week I eat out, and then also how many times I pack my lunch for school and work, because I feel like I'm so much healthier when I pack my lunch than when I buy food at the hospital, which our hospital food is actually really, really good, but, um, and it's not that expensive, but it's not healthy, and I really, I know, like, everyone every year is, like, health and fitness is their goal, which it is for me this year. It is every year, but this year I really want to try to stick to it, so I'm going to do my bullet journal. I'm going to, I think I want to map out, like, some kind of fitness plan, and also, like, to drink more water, to eat healthier. Um, I want to do some meal prepping, so we'll see how that goes. And so I feel like, honestly, 2017 was one of the best years, but also one of the more stressful years, but now that it's 2018, I'm feeling refreshed. I had a really long, I'm still on break from school, so I don't start until the 16th um, of January, so I had like a little over a month break, which is really nice and really needed, um, so I'm like refreshed, I've been working, I've been resting, that's another thing I'm going to put in my bullet journal, so I'm going to uh, schedule, like, I, I want to get to the point where I can schedule a day of rest in my week every day, but I think that's not going to happen until I'm out of school. So for now, I'm going to schedule like hours during a day of each week of rest. Okay, and so I... Oh, also, I'm filming an Ulta haul after this. I ordered some things from Mario Badescu that I want to put with the Ulta haul, but I want to start using the things from the Ulta haul now. So I'm going to film like the first part of it, so it'll probably be like a split video. I'll be doing like an Ulta slash Target haul in the first part, and then I'll do the things that I got from Mario Badescu in the second part. So I'm going to film that after this, but that'll be up probably after this video is. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. Um, and then I have, so my plan is to film, like pre-film a bunch of videos. Um before school starts so like in the next like one or two weeks and then um oh and by the way I'm not using bronzer because I'm seeing if that's what's breaking me out but um I want to have like a bunch of videos already filmed so that when school starts I don't have to like film in the first like month ish so I can just really focus on school so we'll see how that goes I haven't used like any of the products that I've been using I'm so excited to use the Stila glitter. I've wanted it for the longest time. And I finally, I just did it. And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Glow Kit to highlight. I'm doing the whole face before I even do the eyes. And also, you guys should comment below what style of videos you like better. Like, do you like when I'm sitting here talking and taking forever to film a video? Or do you like when I do, like, looks with voiceovers? Or do you like a mix of the two? Let me know. I really need to eat something because this coffee has really gotten to me. Ooh. Uh, also, another goal for 2018 is organization. I am, I got the Alex 9 drawers for Christmas, so I'm going to organize all my makeup and then go from there. Like, I need to, like, throw out a lot of things. I need to get rid of some clothes and some shoes that I don't ever wear because I have way too many, so... We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I think for like my transition color, I'm going to go into the Morphe uh, 3502. And I'm going to go into the shade Universal as my transition color. Oh, wait, no. 
I was gonna prime my eyes today because I always forget to do that so that's what I'm gonna do once I find my okay um this is the Laura Mercier eyeshadow primer I think that's what it's called anyways I should have thought about this before I put foundation and concealer on my eyelids oh, probably wasn't the smartest idea I've ever had and then I'm going to use my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and use the white color to set that. I'm not a good multi I keep forgetting that I'm supposed to be talking and... Oh well. Okay. So I'm going to use the shade Universal. This Morphe brush as my transition color. I just really want to get like straight to the glitter, but I know that that should be my last step. So, we're gonna take our time. Okay, and then I pulled out some of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows, that the um, matte ones that I think I'm gonna use for my crease in outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna use this in my crease. This is a shade Glitz. And then I'm gonna use this on my outer corner. This is the shade Paradox. All right, so. I'm going to use this Morphe brush and put this in my crease. I always forget that you don't have to sh tap these off because they're like pressed or whatever they're called. Sometimes I feel like these are easier to work with than regular eyeshadows, to be honest. I keep tapping it off. But there's nothing to tap off. I'm just using a clean brush to blend it out. And there's so much snow outside, I couldn't even use like natural light for this video because the snow is so bright. And we got a lot of snow. I don't know how much because it was so windy, it like blew all the snow around, but I'm betting we got at least like eight inches. Okay, and now I'm gonna use uh, Paradox on the outer corner, which I don't know if it's gonna work with this brush, but we're gonna try. Yep, nope, that's not the brush to use. Let's use this one. I feel like I had so much more to talk about, but now I'm like drawing blank and I just want to do my eyeshadow. <laughs> Okay, it's time. So I'm not really sure how exactly I'm supposed to even use this. Let me just read the directions. Okay, so I guess I just go for it. Hold on, first I'm gonna, okay. I got the shade Smoldering Satin. Can we just take a moment? Like what? Look at that. Look how beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, we're going for it. I feel like I'm gonna be like obsessed with these now and I'm gonna have to get more. But they're kind of like expensive. I'm gonna go in this with this brush. Clean it up. So beautiful. I don't know how well you can see it. And it's nice because you don't have to use that much product, so I feel like this will last me for so long. I'm the kind of person like <clears throat> if there's an easy if this is like an easy way to do glitter, why am I gonna even like take the time to buy like loose glitter that I have to like use glitter glue and all that other stuff like there's ColourPop like this one in uh, Ritz and these like I feel like there's no point in using actual glitter like it's too much work way too much work okay and then I'm just gonna blend maybe I don't know if they actually blend but just kind of like 
make it so our lines not so harsh there we go yeah. okay. and I almost got the uh, like black one but I figured I would start with this one because I know that I would use this one more often so okay and now I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line I feel like this would be so pretty as like a eyeliner too Okay, so I'm gonna highlight the inner corner with the same highlighter in the Anastasia uh, Glow Kit. And I think I wanna put some of this glitter on the lower lash line. I'm just kinda scared to do it, but I think, I think I'm gonna go for it. Okay, so I've lost the glitter. I don't, oh, there it is. So I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and then quickly use this elf brush to put just a little bit on the lower lash line. I have so much glitter on right now. I'm loving it. Can you see that glitter? It's beautiful. It's just beautiful. I think this is the best makeup purchase I've ever made in my life. So I have this uh, Maybelline Great Lash mascara and I wanted to try it out. I think I used to use this mascara. I just don't remember what it was like so I'm gonna apply this to my lower lash line. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna use my Essence Lash Princess. Oh, what a difference mascara makes. Also forgot I was gonna curl my lashes, but that didn't happen either. I'm gonna spray some of my Cover FX setting spray. Okay, and then I'm gonna line my lips with this Essence Lip Liner in Satin Mauve. And then I'm gonna be using this uh, ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Dopey. So the whole talking part of this video kind of went out the door because I'm really bad at multitasking. All right, and that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any New Year's resolutions, you should comment them down below. You should subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out. And thanks for watching.